Delegation from Kara local government area of Kaduna State of the government house to encourage Governor Nasiru El Rufai to continue in his quest to ensure all-round development in the state. The people are especially grateful that a potato processing plant has been located in their area, in addition to construction of roads in some communities. Muslims and Christian leaders were part of the delegation. They say it's time to stop the hate preaching which incites violence. If you are aware and you know the person who is holding these charges, go and arrest him. Brought the matter, brought, brought the person out. But if, instead of making head kind of speeches, is bad. We are not aware of those persons that are bringing this crisis. We, we, don't, we don't see them. So we, we didn't see them with their eyes. So therefore, we don't need to make every kind of speeches that it's not, it's not relevant. They asked residents to join hands with the government to stop the killings and ensure peace returns to the southern part of Kaduna State. When the Christian body and the uh, Islam body come together and they are brought together with other stakeholders, the government, I believe, by the grace of God, peace will be achieved. Noting all their comments, Governor El Rufai assured Kaura indigents that a military barracks will be established in southern Kaduna to help stop the violence. Arrests are being effected of the perpetrators and uh, we are on course to restore uh, permanent peace in uh, the southern senatorial district of Kaduna State. The people are expectant that when peace eventually returns to southern Kaduna, the government will get to settle down to take care of other urgent needs. Arrangements are in place to ensure free flow of traffic ahead of the diversion of flights from the Abuja International Airport to Kaduna Airport that's starting from March 8, 2017. The Corps Marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Boboyo Yemi, says his team will also focus operations on federal highways to allow states set up traffic management agencies for road safety management and traffic control. The FRSC boss made the announcement during a workshop, uh, working visit to Kaduna State, where he and the state governor uh, discussed the proposed transfer of traffic responsibility to state agencies. We felt that the Federal Road Safety Commission should focus on highways, particularly busy highways where there are lots of abuses and lots of issues, while our Kaduna State Traffic Enforcement Agency focuses on the urban areas. We would not even go as far as say, all state roads, no, because right now they don't have the capacity to cover all state roads but you have the resources and the capacity to even cover it. What led to this was a series of complaints about internal checkpoints being established within urban areas, inconveniencing uh, citizens, sometimes even causing accidents instead of preventing them. This is the basis for the discussion in the security council and that was the decision. But we believe that it is complementarity and collaboration that will secure the lives of our drivers and other citizens. And we appeal for correct reporting of this. Uh, we have no power to ban anyone. Uh, and we did not. There's no problem, it's just I think that there's a kind of misconception. And uh, I believe we cannot do but work together. FRAC and Kaduna are our strategic partner who must work together. We, we just need to, to remove all those negative impressions. We, it's a policy matter which we put under the access of public roads. But let the state take care of their state roads. And I'm happy about your own agency, but they still need to be properly trained. They need food training, which I promise you to do in jobs and at the academy at Abuji, Nairobi, so that we're on the same page. And that whatever the offensive, whatever they are doing, should be at first so that all these recalcitrant drivers can be booked, can be jailed, can be noted, and that we can. The FSS is to reduce crash, to save more lives. That's all.